All right, guys, today is the day that we are doing our big sewer road trip. It is world renowned as one of the most beautiful scenic drives in all of North America. You could probably spend weeks here and not see it all. So sit tight, we're gonna show you everything that we can find. staying at the San Simeon campground and that's along the California coast. Not too far from the campsite is a town called Cambria so we're gonna go see what's in there. We have heard that there is some really good pie. We don't need television because we've got a nature show right out our window. All right, today is the day that we are going to Big Sur. We're starting at the San Simeon State Park near Cambria. So we're gonna cross the whole way up quickly and then we're gonna come down and visit everything on the way back down. Dress in layers. The weather around the coastal areas here can change very quickly. So I've got my t-shirt, my sweater, my vest, and my windbreaker with me today. And I have shorts, a t-shirt, and a sweatshirt because that's just what I always wear. He also brought pants, I'll have you know. But he did also bring a bathing suit. <laughs> I want to be prepared for anything. One must stop area is the elephant seal beach just north of San Simeon. This is where all the elephant seals come to mate and have their babies and it is just a very busy place at this time of year. Definitely something to check out. Another stop along here is the Piedras Blancas Lighthouse. That is a historical lighthouse um, that you can actually take tours of. If you have been discouraged about coming to Big Sur because you might have a really big rig and you don't want to take these roads, know that you can park at either end and take your day trips in. It's a 70 mile stretch of highway with lots of turns. Grab the gravel. Here are Mel's road trip motion sickness tips. Blow cold air on you. So if it's a hot day, put on the air conditioner. If it's nice and cool out, don't turn on the heat and put the fans directly on your face. Tip number two, ginger ale, ginger, just pure ginger chews, uh, ginger tea, Anything with ginger, savory, like bland, like saltine crackers, that can help. Don't eat anything sweet, that'll make you worse. Or you can take a nap. Mel does that sometimes. Oh, yeah. That helps a lot. <laughs> but not if you're driving. The road just north of Ragged Point gets pretty sketchy for a long trailer. I think we could have pulled our trailer through there, but you're just right up against a rock face a lot of the time. It's very narrow. You'd have to go really slow and you would not want to encounter another trailer coming towards you, that's for sure. We made it to Carmel by the Sea. It's a really nice, cute town. Beautiful, you could probably spend days here exploring all of the shops, the art galleries, the wine tasting, the beach. We've only got about 30 minutes. We're just getting a quick taste, including some goodies from the Carmel Bakery. Do yourself a favor and take a walk down Scenic Drive and the beach along here. The houses are gorgeous, the beach is beautiful, and the waves are massive. Well, so far, Point Lobos Park has been pretty cool. It's amazing. The waves today are just massive. Mm -hmm. 
and thankfully there were some parks people out there that showed us some sea lions that were way far out that we never would have seen otherwise. So we've just reached an area on this trail near Bird Island and there's this beautiful little cove right here. And just, I wish all of a sudden that I could send the smell through the camera to you. It's like spring has arrived. And just like the park ranger told us, we saw a whole bunch of seals at China Beach. Yep. They literally had to put a sign here telling people not to pick up seals. Like who would do that? So we're not diving today, but apparently this is a really cool dive spot. Whaler's Cove in Point Lobos. Yeah, I definitely want to come back here and dive this one day. All right, so if you're coming to Point Lobo Park, make sure you give yourself enough time. We've already been here for two hours ourselves and we feel like we kind of rushed it. Maybe half a day would be good if you're able to uh, give it that much time. Lots of wildlife to see, lots of great trails, beautiful flowers, vegetation to admire, and the volunteers and staff, park staff, are fantastic. As you're approaching Bixby Bridge, make sure that you slow down. The viewing points are on the north side of the bridge. Most of the parking is on the west side of the highway. However, that was full when we drove up, and thankfully we saw a turn off on a dirt road. There's parallel parking on that dirt road just off to the left, right before you would cross the bridge. It's an iconic bridge to see, built in 1932, and uh, yeah, just take your time. So if you wanna to go to Pfeiffer Beach, the road to get there is quite challenging. It is barely one lane at some points, and it was tricky navigating the oncoming traffic. Also, when you get here to park, it's 12 bucks, non-transferable, one-time fee, so, this better be a really good beach. We can see the beach and we can see the mist and the sand whipping around, so it's pretty windy. We're gonna bundle up. Mel is very bundled and I'm as bundled as I'm gonna get. There are some people just like on the beach in their bathing suits. Yeah, I was thinking of going for a dip until oh I saw that sign. The sand is purple. The sand is purple in spots. I heard about this beach. I think I saw it in one of the YouTube videos I watched when we were researching. That's really cool. It's really cool. It's very purple. Apparently it looks really purple after it's rained. That's some wind, all right. Jeez. Oh, it's really purple here, especially like contrasted with the orange. Man, that's cool. Purple Sand Beach, who knew? We found a little bit of a sheltered area. It's kind of nice here, actually. Yeah. But this is a really unique beach with all that purple sand, and there's a lot of like little arches and things. Just the purple sand, man. Like, you have to see it to believe it. I've seen black sand beaches, I've seen white sand beaches. I think we've even seen green. Uh, yeah, we've seen green in Hawaii. Yeah, but never purple. Never purple. It's worth the $12 parking. I have sand in my face and my eyes. My eyes are watering, I'm crying. Don't go this way. Yeah, don't go this way when it's this windy. Mel is checking her shoes for sand and wondering if she has some purple sand. Oh, not really. No purple sand souvenirs this time. We may have misjudged how much time we needed to do Big Sur. Yeah, it's about 4.30 p.m. and we've done between a quarter to a half of what we were intending. <laughs> so, but there's just so much amazing stuff. Yeah, we've still got about three more hours of daylight though. Yeah. And I think only about three or four more stops. So we might make it. We're gonna keep on trucking. So now we are at Partington Cove. And uh, we gotta take a little hike down the, to the beach. All right, so at Partington Cove, you do have to park along the street. Once you get parked, there's a gate here and uh, you just walk on down.
today is our lucky day for wildlife. We saw like a whole family of otters, including a tiny little baby that I kept know. calling to his mom. Yeah, I think there was about four or five of the adults and then one baby and the baby doesn't have the lung capacity yet to be able to dive down. So the mother will dive down and get food and leaves the baby like floating at the surface. Oh, they're just so cute. You can sit and watch them for so long. You should note at Partington Cove that you have to walk down quite a ways, which means you have to walk back up quite a ways. And we're not even halfway and we're kind of huffing and puffing already. Oh, honey, we're just out of shape. All the time in the world to do it. Whew. Except not today. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna sprint up now. On your marks, get set, go! So, McQuay Falls, here we are. This one, you've got to come and see because, well, I'm not going to tell you. We're just going to show it to you. We took you to the Bixby Bridge and it has a little cousin or little sister, brother, I don't know. This is the Big Creek Bridge. Very similar architecture and I'm sorry we are here at the end of the day. The lighting is not as good, but it is like right on the beach. So that one's kind of cool. We've been looking for whales all day and here it's almost sunset. We're here at Gamboa Point and we're literally seeing them everywhere. We looked out and the first thing we saw was a big poof. I see it. It's a small one. Like I oh, actually see the, see the whale. whale. Oh, I saw it too. Well, I was pretty worried this afternoon when it got to be 4.30 and we had only made it like not even halfway. However, it's now almost seven, almost sunset, and we have made it to our final destination. Yes. So we are checking out Sand Dollar Beach. There are some huge waves coming in. It's a pretty beautiful beach and I think we got really lucky because it looks like the tide comes all the way to the stairs and thankfully the tide is out right now. The sound of the ocean is so calming and there's like a misty haziness down here right now. It was chilly on the beach so we decided to come up just a little bit higher to enjoy the sunset. So here's something you might not expect to see along the California coast. Wild zebras. Just outside of Cambria, on your way to San Simeon, there's a place called Hearst Castle. And the previous owner of that actually had his own little zoo and he bought a bunch of zebras. And then he released them on his acreage. So there's about 126 odd hanging out here in the fields. You can spot them every once in a while near the highway and we just happened to see them. So I really thought that my last dip would be at Pismo Beach. But we got super lucky. We found a swimming beach here at San Simeon, right next to the San Simeon Pier. So I'm gonna go for a final, final, final Pacific Ocean dip. <laughs> Fun. All right, I think that's about it for me. The second reason, I can't remember now. There's two <laughs> reasons. Was it a seal or a sea lion? I sea think it was lions. a seal. The sea lions? The sea lions. So now we are at, a, what's it, where are we again? And there is a little cold spring. It is clothing optional, apparently. There are some things you just can't unsee. 
Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.